my listener, understanding biblical joy. There is a vault of Hebrew words for joy and it appears constantly throughout the scriptures. For example, Psalms 30 verse 5b exhibits, Weeping may endure for night, but joy comes in the morning. And Psalm 66 verse 1 expresses, Shout for joy to God or the earth. Joy is a quality of which God is the object and the giver. In the New Testament, joy is referred to as a fruit of the Spirit, Galatians 5 verse 22, which means that joy is not just a feeling, but a characteristic that is produced in the life of a believer by the Holy Spirit. When God blesses his people, they rejoice, and with their joy are closely associated with praise and thanksgiving. By contrast, joy departs from Israel when God's judgment was announced by the prophets, Ezekiel chapter 7 verses 2 to 12 and Joel chapter 1 verses 15 and 16. Joy is evident in the Gospels before the advent of Jesus. The angel promises Zachariah that uh, at the birth of his son John the Baptist, the forerunner of Christ, uh, there will be joy and gladness and rejoicing. Luke the first chapter and the 44th verse. Joy surrounds the actual birth of Jesus and Mary's rejoicing is shared by the shepherds on behalf of all people. Luke the second chapter and verse 10. John the Baptist declares that uh, the coming of Jesus causes his joy to be fulfilled. Uh, John chapter 3 verse 29. The ministry of Jesus, according to the evangelists, is marked by joyfulness. At the core of the New Testament concept, a person can have biblical joy even if he or she is experiencing mourning, suffering, or undergoing difficult circumstances. This is because uh, the person's suffering is directed to one concern. However, in that same moment, uh, he retains uh, great joy. Apostle Paul, his views on joy can be found in his letter to the church of Philippi. In Philippians 4 verse 4, Apostle Paul says, Rejoice in the Lord always, and again I say rejoice. This passage implies that uh, there is no reason not to rejoice. Rejoicing is the only appropriate response. Apostle Paul is urging the Philippians to find joy in their relationship with God, regardless of their circumstances. How can the Christian remain joyful at all times? The source of the Christian's joy is the Lord, and if Christ is in a Christian and the Christian is in him, that relationship is not a sometime experience. The Christian is always in the Lord, and the Lord is always in the Christian which is always a reason for joy. Even if they find themselves uh, passing through pain, sorrow, or grief, they can still rejoice in Christ. Christians uh, rejoice in the Lord, uh, and since he never leaves them or forsakes them, they can rejoice. Amen.